Yeah, let's do this Ken Starr thing. <laughs> Folks, I'm not going to get uh, spend too much time on this because in some ways, um, spending too much time on the death of Ken Starr elevates him in a way that um, shouldn't have been elevated. And we spent too much time on him in life. Exactly. This is a guy who um, single-handedly, although he got help from people like um, Brett Kavanaugh, who incidentally was leaking stuff from the Ken Starr investigation back in the day. It started out about Whitewater, which was a um, supposedly a questionable uh, real estate deal involving almost tens of thousands of dollars in uh, Arkansas that uh, I think Hillary Clinton's law firm had participated in and maybe she had participated in years and years early, earlier. Um, there was never any charges in that regard, in terms of like the material uh, investigation. Ken Starr went on for years uh, uh, as a, uh, we don't even have it anymore, independent counsel, um, and ultimately landed on wiring Linda Tripp with uh, eavesdropping devices so that she could get um, uh, Monica Lewinsky to admit to having an affair with Bill Clinton on tape. And they ultimately nailed Bill Clinton when he um, essentially tried to uh, prevaricate, I guess is the best word, about what constituted sex. When he was asked if he had had sex with her, he said the, it depends on what the definition of is is. Uh, or something to that effect. I can't and for like the sake of just, you know, now 2022 posterity, what Bill Clinton did and the, the abuse of power that he ex exercised uh, over Monica Lewinsky was reprehensible. But that was not what was at issue with Ken Starr, who was going on a fishing ex expedition and landed on this while starting with Whitewater. And right. they're not interested in the power dynamics of no, it. No. They wanted to destroy him. No. And, uh, and, and we heard all sorts of moralizing from people who were engaged in their own affairs. Literally, like Newt Gingrich was involved in basically, I think at that time, leaving his, his wife who had cancer right. for someone else. Um, and, uh, and all of these people who were uh, moralizing and it caused Al Gore to pick Joe Lieberman. Uh, I mean, it, it, it really had an incredible impact on our politics. It was a wild thing to be because I was like six or seven or eight or around that time. It was a wild time to be like becoming like entering consciousness and seeing how infantile yep. <laughs> like uh, the entire society is. And kudos to Monica Lewinsky, who wrote yes. uh, something very measured on Twitter. Um, he made my life hell, but uh, I'm sure that he it's painful for his family to lose him. Uh, good for her. I don't have uh, that. Uh, I, I, I would not respond that way if I was her. I'm not going to respond that way if it's me. So let me just say this. We can remember Ken Starr for all he did to um, uh, the corrosive impact he had on American politics. Or we can choose to remember for him for something different. <laughs> for when he was uh, president of Baylor University and uh, essentially ignored the fact that um, there were multiple rapes under his tenure that he tried to bury. And here is, just to remind you, a um, story done by, who was this? Uh, uh, Texas, uh, KWTX, Texas uh, News. When they interviewed him about it, uh, this is what you really should remember Ken Starr for. This email sent from a rape victim to a number of people with the subject line, I was raped at Baylor, that's been part of the debate during the sexual assault investigation. The victim, whose identity was concealed, appeared on ESPN's Outside the Lines on Wednesday. She sent the email in the fall of 2015 about a rape that happened in 2009. A few hours after that interview aired, we met with Starr at the president's home on the Baylor campus. One of our questions was about that email. What about um, the victim that came forward saying that she had personally sent you an email and Art Browles an email? saying in the subject line that she was raped at Baylor. Did you ever see that email? I honestly may have. I'm not denying that I saw it. But it's what happens moments well, later. I'll pause it for one second. I just wanted to say, because what ha happens next is going to be pretty amazing. Think about what your perspective and how seriously you take the idea of rape at your university that you're president of when you do not remember if you saw the email that came in and says, I was raped.
Like how, what is your perspective to the idea? How seriously do you take the issue of rape with the students who you have been basically charged to make sure are in a safe environment? How seriously do you take that issue that if you get that email, you honestly don't remember if you read it or not? I might have sat and skimmed over it. Hey, yeah, I get a lot of spam uh, in my email junk. address. Yeah. So. Like, I don't, if you ask me, do you remember that turkey sub that you ate like uh, a year ago? I would be like, mm, I don't, honestly, I don't remember it. That's what he says. That's his response to having gotten an email saying, I was raped at the university that you're a president of. But continue. It may have. I'm not denying that I saw it. But it's what happens moments later that brings the interview to a halt. What you can't see during this interview is my news director behind me. You also can't see a woman named Mary Spate, who asked my boss to promise not to use that portion of the interview. When he says no, she interrupts our interview. Well, I want to point out, I, I need to talk to Jen Stark. To Jen Stark. Okay. Okay. I need to talk to you, sir. Okay, do you ask great questions? Okay, great. Can I ask you one more question? I have I got to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Spate was introduced to our crew as a longtime family friend. What we've since learned is she has a long resume in crisis management. She's a communications specialist, owns her own firm, and was once a director of media relations at the White House for President Reagan. Oh. She also coached Starr while he gave testimony to impeach Bill Clinton. After a few minutes away, the two returned. She needs to ask you that question again. Whether you do it on camera or not, it's up to you. I just want to make sure it doesn't end up misedited. Okay. We ask a star again, and he answers, but turns to Spate, apparently for coaching. All I'm going to say is I, I honestly have no recollection of that. Of seeing an email? Is that okay? Don't look at me. Look at her. Then star answers again. I honestly have no recollection of seeing such an email, and I believe that I would remember seeing such an email. Mm. The President of the University gets lots of emails. I don't even see a lot of the emails that come into the office of the President. I have no recollection of it. None. While Starr calls for transparency <laughs> and openness, it appears his message is still being tightly controlled. I Woo! mean, that... Okay, okay, turn that, turn, turn that, turn, turn that off. Um, the, uh, that is, that is so disturbing. First of all, to watch how that guy, like, you know, on the fourth take, I really nailed it. Oh, yeah, I do not have any recollection of that. Oh, man, anyone who's it, ever seen, like, Law & Order understands what that response means. It's such legally. What's amazing, too, though, is that, like, you know, this, this uh, crisis management uh, person that they have hovering around him, you know, says, like, I, dude, it's not sufficient for you to say that I don't remember. You need to basically add, I would remember, because you need to make it seem like you take the rape of one of your students seriously. Because you need to be like, I don't remember, but I would imagine that I would because I take rape so seriously. Did I say that right? I mean, Jesus. President of a university, a major university in Texas. I, um, I hope, and I doubt this is going to happen, but I hope the family does choose to use those words on his tombstone. Mm. I think that would be fitting. That would. Because that was pretty impressive stuff. He should have gone with, I did not have have sexual relations, relations with, with that, that yeah. email. Yeah, with that email. <laughs> or I did not read that email. It really depends on what your definition of read is.